The documentation record keeping section of 65G7 is rather short in length, direct and to the point when you actually read the Florida Administrative Code. But there's so much writing on you understanding the requirements. Remember when I told you earlier the final exam has two parts, the second part being a MAR exam that you must get 100% to pass. I can almost hear the oh my god, oh my god, fear not. This is just a brief overview of what's to come. We will be studying this extensively and by the time I'm done with you, you will be able to do this in your sleep. Write this down. Do whatever you need to do to have the rules so ingrained in your system, you will know what they are even without thinking about it. Focus on the following information. What information must be on a MAR? What information should be documented on the back of the MAR? What forms are acceptable for MAR documentation? And what is the medication documentation that must be included in the client's record and must be readily available to the MAP, licensed health care provider, or for APD review? The MAP must keep the MAR up to date except when the client is off-site. When the client is off-site, you must indicate the medication was not given on the front of the MAR and document on the back of the MAR that the client is absent. The administration or supervision of a medication must be documented immediately after it is administered to or by the client. You may use the MAR form provided by APD or an alternative MAR as long as it includes the following information. The client's name, any client food or medication allergies, the name of each prescribed medication, the medication strength, for instance, milligrams or milligrams per teaspoon, the prescribing practitioner for each medication, the date the medication was ordered or changed, including the discontinue date, prescribed dosage for each medication, scheduled time of medication administration, the prescribed route of administration, the prescribed instructions for crushing, mixing, or diluting specific medication if applicable, the date the medication was administered, initials and signature of people administering or supervising, record of missed or refused doses documented by initialing and circling the initials, reason for not giving a medication documented and initialed by the MAP or licensed provider. The following information must be in the client's record and readily available to the MAP, licensed health care provider, or APD review. 1. Completed MAR forms. 2. A list of potential side effects, adverse reactions, and drug interactions for each medication. The pamphlet from the pharmacy will meet this requirement. 3. Record of controlled medication counts. 4. Authorization for Medication Administration Form 5. Informed Consent for Medication Administration Form 6. Basic Medication Administration Training Certificate of Completion for each person providing medication assistance services for the client 7. Prescribed Enteral Formula Administration Training Certificate of Completion, if applicable 8. Current copies of required validation certificates for each person providing medication assistance services for the client. Remember, you must record the information in a way that clearly and effectively communicates it to the person reading it. One very important thing I want to remind you to do. Always be sure that you have signed and initialed both the front and the back of the MAR and all additional MAR backs. 
failing to do this or failing to recognize that it hasn't been done can actually cause you to fail the MAR exam or cause a potential violation if a monitor notices that your initials are on the MAR but are not identified by your signature. You are tasked by your supervisor to review the medication information in Yolanda's client record so it is readily available to the MAPs, licensed providers, and APD for review. You remember there were eight things that were mentioned in your basic medication administration training course, but you only have the following five things in her record. One, completed MAR forms. Two, pamphlets from the pharmacy for each medication. Three, authorization for medication administration form. Four, controlled medication counts. And five, the prescribed enteral formula administration course certificate and validation form. What are the three things that are missing? Perfect. The support plan and person center plan are an important part of the client's record. However, we're looking for the things related to medication. You must always have a current informed consent form. Even though she is getting prescribed enteral formula, all MAPs also need to have basic medication administration training and must be validated. You must file copies of all certificates of completion and validations in her record for every MAP that is helping her. I'm sorry, your answer is incorrect. The support plan and person-centered plan are an important part of the client's record. However, we are looking for things related to medication. You must always have a current informed consent form. Even though she is getting prescribed enteral formula, all MAPs also need to have basic medication administration training and must be validated. You must file copies of all certificates of completion and validations in her record for every MAP that is helping Yolanda.